you tell me if you think this sounds like the, the, the utopian society that the middle class wants to be in. Gas prices, according to AAA, have gone up 38%. We all know this. This is a fact that has happened. We all have cars that we have to go and fill up at the pump. It, you cannot lie about this. We're paying more for gas. And, of course, that affects everything else down the line because so is all the transportation industry and the ones that, support the, that transport all the goods are paying more, right? So gas up 38%. And what else is up? Food. Food is up 21% food, according to Axios. We all know that. We all go to the grocery store. Those two things alone right there have crippled the middle class. Up 38% gas, up 21% food. Crushed. Crushed the middle class. Let's continue. Mortgage rates are up 148%. 148% rise in mortgage rate. That's according to Market Watch. Okay, so there you go with people trying to get their first home. People that are trying to buy a home for their family, 148% up on mortgage rates. Does that help the middle class out? Does that help the working class guy out? The working class gal out? The working class family? How about home insurance? Let's say you pay an arm and a leg and get your mortgage and you pay your ballooned mortgage rate. How much is your home insurance? Well, it's gone up 61% according to bank rate. The home insurance up 61%. All right. This is now remember, you got to keep in mind that gas is up 38 percent. Food is up 21 percent. Your mortgage is up 148 percent. And now your home insurance that you got to pay is up 61 percent. Now you're getting buried if you're a middle class working guy or gal. Now, what about your car insurance? Well, car insurance is up, according to bank rate, 118 percent. Your car insurance has gone up 118 percent. These are things that you need to do. Now, you, now you, have to, you have to have a car to get to the job, right? So you have to have a car. You got to pay insurance on it. That's gone up 118%. Just the insurance. Don't even drive the car anywhere. It's gone up 118% without you doing anything. Now you want to get to work. Well, you got to put gas in the car. The gas has gone up 38%, okay? Now you get to the job. And how much are you making? Well, real wages are down 2.24%. So how in the world does this look like it's been helping the working class Americans like myself, like you? How has this been helping the middle class? It hasn't. The whole thing has been one big lie to the American people. And the American people know it better than anybody else because we are living in it. This is a lived in experience. Now, while we're getting buried... While we're taking it completely in the can, what is what are we watching that's happening? We're watching millions and millions of illegal aliens come in here and get free food, get free housing, get free phones, get free health care, get free cards with money on it, EBT cards. Could you be more in, could it be more of a kick to the nuts? Could it be more of an insult to watch what's happening as you're struggling? Working overtime, trying to scrape enough to get by, can't even take your family on a vacation, you're scrimping and saving, you can't live in a normal lifestyle that you want to live. You're bending everything. You're going without as much as possible. And you're watching the people that have jumped the border, come in here illegally, get handed all this free shit, and then they're telling you, oh yeah, this is great for democracy. These people hate you, the middle class worker. They hate you. 